Hello loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anjali if you are new here and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys an easy makeup tutorial that would be perfect for those mornings that you are running late or getting ready for school and don't have that much time. Without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial and get ready and do something with this. <laughs> First, let's get this hair out of my way. I've been sleeping with my hair in braids lately because of the hair extensions and it makes it so much easier in the mornings. Now since this is a tutorial that's going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup quickly, I'm not going to go into tons of detail because I'm going to show you guys how I quickly rush through my makeup in the morning. So starting off foundation, this is the True Match Lumi foundation. I think it has SPF 20 in it. And I like this foundation because it's lightweight. It is very luminizing, so it's very brightening and it gives some pretty quick, easy coverage. And since we're in a hurry, we are not going to use a beauty blender to blend. We are going to go in with our hands. When you got like five to 10 minutes to put on a full face of makeup, Sometimes you just go for it. You do the best you can. <laughs> Even though you're in a hurry, don't forget to blend onto your neck. That'll be the biggest giveaway that you were rushing. So from here, we're going to put on a concealer. This is the Glossier Stretch Concealer in the color medium. And the reason why I like this for mornings when I'm running late, because it's super easy and super blendable, and it honestly like is very forgiving. So I'm just gonna go in with my fingers and apply a good layer. My favorite thing about this concealer is it has a lot of moisturizing and like nourishing ingredients in it, which is really nice for underneath your eyes. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and fix this mess that I've created. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about a beauty blender is that even if you like apply very messily, you can go in and smooth everything out and it literally makes you look like you do makeup like a pro. So if you don't have one of these, it's very highly recommended. And I personally think it blends out everything very, very fast. Like faster than I could have. <laughs> Ooh, I have some zits that popped up this morning. Yay. Okay, look how fun those are. Yes, I don't want those there. Quickly just use some shape tape to conceal those few spots that were a little bit darker and popped up this morning. So blend that out because those are not fun. Going in with my translucent powder. This is the Cover FX Translucent. And I'm almost out of this one. I think it's always impressive when you can get through a translucent powder because I always feel like it's so much powder. So I'm just gonna put some setting powder on my BB blender and just set underneath my eyes super quick. I am not going to highlight everything on my face. We don't have time for that. Not on mornings that we are rushing. So I'm just gonna powder my face with the Bare Mineral Blemish Rescue because we have some pesky ones and this is really cool because it has salicylic acid in it. So if you are having a breakout, um, it's really nice to put on your face because you're basically treating while you're covering, which is cool. Moving right along into the contour and bronzer, we are going to use the same little bronzer as our contour. This is the Hula Benefit little mini size that I travel with. And we are just going to quickly bronze and warm up our face. When you only got a few minutes, you don't have time to do a full contour and a full everything, so. I feel like the goal of this whole tutorial is make it look like you put effort in, but really you are scramming to get out the door. <laughs> Good enough for me, bronzer and contour finish, good enough, moving on. The only other thing I am going to do, and this is an optional step, if you're running that late, you don't have time to do it, but to cut out the steps of eyeshadow, I'm going to use the same bronzer and put it in the crease of my eyelid, so that way the whole look matches like color-wise, and it makes me look like I did my eyeshadow, but really, we know the truth. I mean, let's be honest, half the time you don't have time to do eyeshadow. <laughs> now it's time to fill in and brush our eyebrows. This is the Furalicious Brow Pencil by The Balm. We're gonna make it look like we spent a lot of time on our brows, but nope. A little tip with the brows, if you don't have time to like fully do your brow shape, at least brush them. That is the number one thing that'll give away that you didn't have time to do your makeup. Make sure you brush your brows. The last thing I'm going to do is throw on some highlighter because I think that just ties a whole look together. So if you don't really have that much time, throw on some bronzer, highlighter, walk out the door and call it good. Oh, and brush your brows. So I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome in the color Molten Gold, and I'm just gonna go for it. Just get that highlighter on there and get out the door. We are almost done, and I think we're doing pretty good on time. I'm just gonna throw on some mascara. This is the Hourglass Film Noir, 
and I actually took off my eyelash extensions before coming to Italy because I knew I wouldn't have time to get them done here. I wouldn't even know where to get them done. So I'm actually applying mascara for the first time in like a year and it's been weird. <laughs> mascara done. Last thing we are going to do is throw on some lips and honestly, this is more of a chapstick. This is the Burt's Bees Gloss Lip Crayon in the color Outback Oasis and it literally feels like a tinted chapstick, which is my favorite, especially when you need something quick. So I'm just gonna throw this on. And I think I'm going to call this good for a quick little makeup look, but we have to do something with this hair. It cannot go out like this, so I am going to undo the spray that I slept in, which made my hair wavy. So I'm going to just like spritz up my hair and make it look not so frizzy and like I slept on it by using the Way Wave Spray and just give it some life back. Much better. And then we're gonna do something with this hair scarf. By using like a hair scarf or a hair accessory it makes it look like you put so much effort in. And let's be honest, we all know we put none in. So I am going to go with a low ponytail. I'm just going to loosen it up, pull out a few pieces, make it look really uh, cute. <laughs> make it look as cute as I can and apply a hair scarf. The last final little accessory you're going to do is throw on some big earrings. When you don't have that much time to get ready, adding little things like the hair scarf and earrings, just make it look like you put more effort in. And like I said, we all know the truth. We didn't have time, but it makes it look like you did. Like a hat, a hair scarf, a scrunchie, a ribbon, earrings, things like that make you look more put together and make it much easier to get ready. And honestly, this took me less than like 10 to 15 minutes to get ready. Well, there you have it. Whether you're rushing off to a meeting or running late to school, whatever it is, I hope this tutorial and these few tips give you guys some good ideas for getting ready fast because I know I use these tips all the time I'm always running late so I hope you guys found this enjoyable if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already but that is it I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and as always I'll see you guys in the next one bye